same goal, okay? Just like he showed Joseph uh, in the Bible. Like he showed Joseph, he gave Joseph a vision. And so Joseph saw the end, but he didn't see all the process that he was going to have to go through to get to his expected end. Um, and so I just wanted to encourage you all today, don't uh, forsake the process. Do not, I promise you, get weary and well-doing. Um, this weekend, I was honored to um, host an event. And shout out to She Care Houston and Ashley Monet. And that event really blessed my soul in such a way. I was interviewing Ashley Monet and she was telling, uh, I asked her a question about how did she get here? Like, how did she get to um, the place where she has a whole hair salon in a high rise down on West Hama? Amen. On the 10th floor. Okay. Who even thinking like that? Okay. That's a God thing in itself. Who is thinking about putting a whole hair salon? And it ain't no yo auntie in them hair salon. It is a very chic Low-key bougie <laughs> for the bougies one time. Hair salon and just the layout and the setup and just the vision behind it. And I asked her, like, how did she come to that? And she was like, well, actually, God had really put it on my heart to go 15 years ago to go and look at a high-rise and look at a high-rise to put a hair salon in. And so as she was telling her story and she was just saying her testimony, she began to cry. And I, I felt like Lord running in there for her because what that said to me is that 15 years ago, God gave that woman a vision. And 15 years later, exactly what God showed her came to pass. So I'm telling you, it's Testimony Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? I, I rejoice for other people's um, testimonies and rejoice for other people's, oh my God, blessings. Like, I'm so excited for that woman. Like, I was ready to run in there. And I did, girl. I had to do a break dance one time for her. Because it just let me know that if God promised it to you, he is sure to give it to you. So if you are out there today and God has made you a promise and he can keeps on sending you confirmation, please don't get weary and well-doing. Please don't lay it down. Please don't quit. Please don't go pick up something else trying to replace the void that you have from not fulfilling what God called you to do. Please, I'm, the bishop is begging you today. Like, just stay on your God assignment. Stay, keep your hands busy. Stay at work with what God has placed in your hands and what he's put before you. And I promise you, I promise you, what he promised is sure to come to pass. If you're out there today and you don't know who Jesus Christ is, who this Savior is that we've been talking about, who, you know, the bishop talk about Jesus all day long, every day, <laughs> every day, every week. You like, Bishop, you be talking about Jesus a lot. I don't even know nothing about this Jesus. I want to extend Jesus to you. I want to extend somebody to you that is going to the promise giver. Uh, I want to extend um, the person that is going to be the lover of your soul. I know people get weirded out by, you know, oh Lord Jesus and being the lover of your soul. But you know what? In this life, there will come times when People will leave you. Things will break down on you. Your body will break down on you. Um, people will walk away from you. But I'm telling you about a God that will never walk away from you, that will never treat you as less than, that will always love you despite your indifference, despite your, your faults, that will love you past anything you've been through and still see the beauty and the value in you. That is the Jesus that I am talking about today.